Welcome to episode three of A Cup of Coffee. I'm Eric Bynum from Baseball to World. I'm here to give you a little bit of tidbits and information about the world of baseball. Uh, first off, I want to talk about the, the coffee I'm drinking here. It is Laughing Man. It is a Columbia dark roast and I quite enjoy it. Typically not a dark roast person, but hey, I really like this one, Laughing Man. You should check it out. If you notice, I don't have a baseball mug today. Actually, I have a history mug. Guilty as charged, I'm a world history teacher. This is one of my favorite World War II propaganda posters. He's watching you. Uh, if you notice really closely, Star Wars fans, that does look like Darth Vader's helmet because this is where they got the, the idea for that. Um, by the way, if you're a history fan, especially world history, I will be starting a world history podcast. Um, I've got a couple episodes in the, in the books. I'm just looking to publish them and get them out there. I will have that out soon on my website, historyhavoc.com. I'll put a link in the, in the comments if you want to check out that, that website as well. Uh, starting off, I want to congratulate the Dornburn Indians for winning the Federations Cup. Uh, they took down the Vienna Wanderers 19 to 1. And I really wanted to, to do a little shout out for Tyler Thompson who took home the championship victory. Uh, it was the second win of the tournament. He went five innings. He struck out nine, gave up two hits. So the Dornburn Indians sort of dominated there 19 to 1. If we look at the other uh, the qualifiers for the Federations Cup, there were two pools going on. Pool one was in Moscow, and the Rustar Moscow, the host team, took home the victory. Again, we got a common theme here, 19 to 1. I feel like somebody else is going to win today, 19 to 1, in the major leagues or in the College World Series, so look out for that. Uh, but I really wanted to give a shout out to Luis Valen Valenti Valentin. Valenti. Forgive me if I mispronounce that, Luis Valenti. Um, what a game, holy moly guys. Three for four, three bombs, nine RBIs. That's quite the, the, the career day right there. So congratulations Luis uh, and the Rustar Moscow team on the victory. In the other qualifier uh, we had, um, and forgive me, there's no way I'm gonna get this name right. So I'm going to play this little tidbit and let you see how to pronounce this name. They're the Firehawks out of Sweden. Sölvesbury. Sölvesbury, Firehawks out of Sweden, took home the victory over the Polish team Devi Aliesko. Sorry, again, I'm going to butcher a lot of names today. I apologize for that. But the Firehawks uh, won 5 1 in that Federations Cup qualifier. I uh, wanted to do some standings from around the, the world of baseball. I'm going to start in Belgium. Um, we have the Dern Spartans leading the league at 11-3. and three. Uh, The Burgerhout Squirrels, which, come on, I love the nickname the Squirrels. We don't see that enough in sports today. But they're right behind them at 11-5 and five, and probably the team I got a root for just because I am a diehard Braves fan and we're going to get that to that here in a little bit. The Brass Chat Braves at 9-7 and seven, uh, coming in at third place there. Um, let's see, if we go out to Hungary, we have the Budapest Reds leading the league at 7-0. and um, A couple teams right behind them that I dare not even try to pronounce. Uh, Erd, Erd, I don't know how to say that. But they're 5-2 and two right there in second place, and the Gladiators are 4-4 four and four in third place. Um, if we go out to Finland, um, yes, they do play baseball in Finland and Sweden, and there's some good leagues up in, the, in that area. Uh, something that a lot of y'all may not know, but a lot of these countries in Europe and Africa and Asia, a lot of them have baseball leagues. They're not quite up to par to what we see in America, but you know, a lot of the, a lot of, in a lot of these places they're growing, and that's what we want to do here at Baseball to World is help that growth as much as we can, spread the word. Uh, so out in Finland, we have the Panthers out at 6-0 with a one-game lead over the Expos who are at 5-1, and one. and come on guys, Expos. I miss baseball in Montreal. It's a subject for another day, but you know, I'm gonna have to bust out my Expos hat one day, one of my favorite hats of all times, uh, even though I'm not a, a Washington Nationals fan what's, whatsoever. Actually, actually quite can't stand them. Uh, if we go, you know, close by to Sweden and take a look at the standings there, we have the Sundiberg Heat, uh, leading the league at 11-2, and, and the Solvesburg, again, let's hear that because I, I know I'm not pronouncing it right. I gotta hear it. 
Sölvesbury. Sölvesbury, the Firehawks are in second place there. Um, just behind the, the Heat, a half game back at 10 and 2. Uh, bringing up uh, the next in line, the Stockholm Monarchs in third place at 9 and 7. So, baseball in Finland, I'm sorry, Sweden, don't want to get those two mixed up. Uh, going strong. Uh, wanted to, you know, bring it back around to Major League Baseball and my Atlanta Braves because holy moly, I want to, you know, want to do a little shout out to BMAC. Um, Brian McCann with his 1,000th RBI. Not only does he get his 1,000th RBI, it's a walk-off in the bottom of the ninth against the hated Philadelphia Phillies. Man, what a game that was coming back in the ninth inning like that. The Braves have won nine in a row. Uh, I don't get some, how they've won some of these games, but it's been fantastic. A lot of young talent to watch on this team. Uh, today, one of my favorite pitchers is going, Sean Newcomb, doing a spot start. He's been in the bullpen lately. But if you want to check out the Young Braves, they are the MLB.TV free game of the day. Uh, they play tonight at, I believe, 7 Eastern uh, against the Phillies. Should be a great game. Check it out. Uh, again, the Braves have won nine in a row. Let's go for ten. Uh, a couple other things I wanted to, you know, wanted you to notice. Uh, my shirt, life is good because let's let's be real. Life is good. Um, Sometimes we all get down, we get a little depressed. I know, been there, done that. That's why I want to remind you of my blogathon. Uh, June 29th through the 30th, for 24 hours, I will be blogging, live streaming, I'll be tweeting, Instagramming. Is it Instagramming or just gramming? I don't know. These kids these days, they're, I'm, I'm not young enough for all of that. But um, I want to remind you that from the first pitch of the London series early Saturday morning to the last pitch Sunday morning, I will be blogging um, the day after. I will have some guest articles going up, some great people writing some great stuff. So I really want you to check that out. It's all to raise awareness for depression. Uh, so please spread the word um, to anybody and everybody. Um, I'll be doing some podcasting and some other things and another episode of a cup of coffee during that day. Maybe two. I'll have 24 hours to do a lot of stuff. So we shall see, um, but just want to you know follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram. We're both at Baseball to World. You can find links in the comments as well. Um, last thing I want to wrap up is the book I just started reading yesterday, The Wrong Stuff by Bill Lee. Huge Bill Lee fan. Um, I read his other book. I can't think of the name of it. I can see it sitting over on my on my dresser right there. Um, funny guy, great guy. Would love, love anything to sit down and have dinner with him and just pick his brain and hear some stories. Uh, there's a great, uh, I think it's great, a great documentary, not the movie. The movie was not so great, but there's a, a documentary that follows him going down to Cuba called Spaceman, A Baseball Odyssey. Check it out. It used to be on Netflix or Amazon. I haven't checked in a while. Um, I wrote an article about it. Uh, a ways back. I will post that in the comments as well so you can get an idea of what that's about. Um, but that's it for now. Um, oh, one more thing. I want to do a little College World Series prediction. Um, the team that I'm really rooting for and really pulling for, Texas Tech, get your guns up. I'm a Texan, okay? I love, you know, pretty much anything Texas except for AM. Sorry guys, hook them horns. Um, but rooting for the Red Raiders. Hope they really pull it out. Um, but if if I was a betting man, my money would go on Vanderbilt. Man, they're looking good. Uh, even if you don't like baseball and college baseball, I know a lot of people don't like the, the metal bats, but check out the uniforms. There's going to be some great uniforms in this in this tournament. All kicks off later today in about, whoa, it's like 10 minutes away. So I need to get this up and, and going so I can, I can post this and I can go watch some college baseball. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Have a great day, enjoy a cup of coffee, and we'll see you next time. Adios.